This is the future of college education. Different prokaryote or eukaryote is the distinction there. Instead of lecturing to large groups of students like this traditional college classroom, students are separated into groups, sitting around tables, working together as they learn the material. If you want to improve long-term learning and you want to improve student retention, then don't lecture to them. Get them involved, get them engaged in the material. UH Manoa biology professor and department interim chair Steve Robineau was first exposed to the concept of a student-centered classroom at a science conference on the mainland, where he learned that it's not just the way the material is taught, but the environment students learn in. Mano administrators were already looking into new teaching concepts and classroom designs when Robineau approached them. With Steve's vision and passion and, and support from the vice chancellor and the several vice chancellors as well as the chancellor, we built this space in, in less than an academic year, which was really quite, quite remarkable. Room 101 in Webster Hall is that space. It fits 64 students with eight large tables that seat up to eight students each. There's a large monitor at each table where the professor displays his content and students can also use the monitors to display their work using their computers, iPads or smartphones. There are also whiteboards on just about every wall, another way to get students involved and talking about the material. On this day in Biology 275, the students are working together using colored yarn and post-it notes to figure out how DNA replicates. That's what it'll be for him. This is really new, but it's also really fun and exciting. And what we do do in class, you're able to, you're basically able to learn it a lot better than just having someone spout out facts at you. There's a lot more uh, like collaboration amongst students, and it's not so much just listening, it's more like actually participating. I'm more hands-on, I guess, so when we do the activities with like moving like proteins around and stuff, it helps a lot. Because <laughs> you see it like mentally, and then when you take the test, it's kind of like, oh yeah, this and this. Usually, I'll just study by myself and read the book and read the PowerPoints, but not really understand the, the whole concept, like the whole idea. But here, you can kind of really grasp what's uh, important. So instead of memorizing everything, which is, I've gotten really good at doing that, um, we're actually having to apply it a little bit and I think that's really healthy so that we understand what's going on instead of just being able to parrot it back. UH administrators say this student-centered classroom may be the first of many on campus and could be used for a class of perhaps as many as 150 students. You really get to get up close and personal with the kids, which is the fun part of the job. I mean. I know this stuff, so lecturing about it is not the interesting part. The interesting part is figuring out how to get someone else excited about it. DNA, nucleic acid. It could be DNA, it could be RNA. It's any nucleic acid, right? Okay, so that's that's clear, and that's going to come into play with what you're.